let us study what is a creep failure and also let us see what are the mechanisms which are responsible for creep failure hi i'm dr wasim sheik so let us start creep failure occurs because of the constant load or constant stress on any material which happens at an elevated temperature and it is also dependent on time creep is observed in almost all the material but in metals it is significant at around 0.4 of the absolute melting temperature diffusion dislocation climb and grain boundary sliding all these contribute to the mechanism of creep failure the ductile materials and alloys which are subjected to creep failure mainly fail because of necking and the coalescence of the void and sometimes they also fail because of grain boundary sliding as we have seen in the definition of creep creep becomes important at an elevated temperature so let us see what is the effect of temperature on the mechanical behavior of metals so when the temperature of any material increases the mobility of the atom also increases this in turn will change lot of mechanical properties in the material also high temperature will result in the movement of the dislocation this happens because of the dislocation climb the concentration of vacancies also increases and there are additional slip systems which are active when the temperature of the material increases at elevated temperature the materials which are strain hardened will undergo recovery and recrystallization and we have seen in an earlier video that when the material goes through recovery and recrystallization mainly at a recrystallization temperature the material loses its strength and nowadays we know that lot of different applications are there which are related to high temperature this creates lot of problem in modern technology where we want a material to use at a different temperature so the first mechanism of creep is dislocation climb as the temperature of the material increases the dislocation tends to move in certain direction even when the load applied to the material is very less so in dislocation climb what happens is atoms move either towards the dislocation or away from the dislocation so in turn it appears as if the dislocation is climbing up or down and this happens because of diffusion the dislocation will move in a perpendicular direction and it will not move in a parallel direction so here in this image we can see an edge dislocation and the atom is moving away from the edge dislocation it is either going in an interstitial side or it is going to fill a vacancy so in this way we can see the image and it appears as if the dislocation is climbing and it is coming down when these atoms move out of the dislocation line so the second thing that can happen in dislocation climb is that the atoms they can join the dislocation line so in such a way they'll either create some vacancy or they will eliminate some interstitial sites the second mechanism of creep is vacancy diffusion grain boundaries they act as a source and a sink for vacancy so the vacancy they migrate depending on the temperature so the mechanism depends on the movement or the migration of the vacancy from one side of the grain to the other side here in this image we can see a grain a b c d and the load applied on this grain is shown as p the faces b c and a d they are pushing the atoms towards a b and d c the grain then creeps in this direction of the stress so movement of these atoms will create some vacancy on the faces from where the atoms are moving here in this case we can see that bc and ad from there the atoms are moving so the vacancies are created there and the vacancies are destroyed at faces ab and dc the third mechanism of creep is grain boundary sliding so the sliding of neighboring grains with respect to the boundary that separates them so grain boundary will lose their strength at a relatively lower temperature than the entire grain so because lot of energy is concentrated at grain boundary so the grain boundary will lose in the strength before the entire grain the main reason behind this is that at the grain boundary there is no defined crystalline structure and inside the grain there is well defined structure so the grain boundary because of this reason will lose the strength even at lower temperature than the entire grain 
so let us summarize the creep failure and the mechanism of creep failure so creep failure we have seen that it is a time dependent permanent deformation under constant stress or constant load at an elevated temperature and this temperature can be around 0.4 of the absolute melting temperature of metal also we have seen that there are three mechanism for creep failure the first one is dislocation climb the second one is vacancy diffusion and the third one is grain boundary sliding thanks for watching all the best